Welcome to part 3, continued, of the BomberPage.com video review of the ECS Elite Group A785GM-M motherboard. One area we failed to hit upon in our last review was the actual temperature of these passive heat sinks on the motherboard. As you can see, I can easily touch them without getting burned. They're warm, but they're not extremely hot. Bear in mind, also, before I pull up the infrared thermometer, that this case has an open side right now with no direct airflow to any of the parts of this board other than the airflow from this heat sink here and this exhausting case fan. Normally, there would be a side panel fan, and in many other cases, you would have more lateral airflow throughout the case. The Southbridge chipset heatsink is registering about 51 Celsius and the Northbridge should be registering similar. The chipset heatsinks are pretty warm however it's not really concerning again with the lack of airflow to this case. The surprising fact is the voltage regulators are only a cool 38 degrees Celsius while that may seem like a lot at first, it's around 100 degrees. Many boards do not even have cooling on this area, which is one thing I would like to stress over and over again about this board. This concludes the part 3 continued of the BomberPage.com ECS Elite Group A785GM-M motherboard video review. Please stay tuned for part 4, where we will delve into the onboard graphics, as well as benchmarks of this board, as well as overclocking of this board. Thank you.